So today I'm going to make another type of battery. It's going to be a salt water battery like the previous two that I made. So the goal here is to create a better design and have a high current battery. When the current I'm talking about is going to be the load current. And so let's, let me explain how this is going to work. So I have a few pieces of graphite and these are in little uh, slabs that are about one inch by maybe four inches or something like that. I'll put a link in the description below. You can take a look at that. And then I have four pieces of aluminum flashing. Then I've got four wires and I've, it's about six inches long and I've stripped both ends. And then I have a saturated solution of salt water. So you can maybe see the crystals at the bottom and that's just as much salt as can possibly hold. And then for a separator, I'm gonna use a piece of cloth. So let me show you a few things about what I'm trying to do here. So we have uh, obviously two electrodes and instead of two metals like I did before, I'm gonna use graphite. And the reason I'm gonna use graphite is that when I had uh, copper and aluminum or um, copper and zinc or something like that, I kept getting a lot of electroplating and it was an undesirable effect and eventually it would electroplate the copper directly into solution and effectively destroy the battery. So I'm going to use graphite for one of the electrodes and that's going to solve uh, some of the problems I had before. I always try to iterate and try to make everything better the next time around and so that's one of the problems that we had with the previous designs. So the first thing we're going to do is that I need I need what's uh, called a current collector and I'm going to I'm going to take a rubber band and attach it onto this electrode so that I can collect the current. So I've got left my thumb in there and then I'm going to slip this on the end. and hold it in place like that. So now we have electrical contact between the graphite and then now I can, I can collect these and do as many of these in parallel as I want. And that's, that's the goal today is to do in parallel. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've connected all of the electrical wires to all of my graphite plates. So there are four wires and four plates. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to demonstrate a single cell. So let's take let's take some salt water, dip it in here. So that's saturated. And then we'll wrap it around like this and separate them. Just to hold in place, I'll just get a Clothes pin. Okay, and let's get out our meter. So I have one on voltage and one on current. So the graphite will be the positive and the aluminum will be the negative. So we have 0.8 volts. And that's about what we would expect. Okay, now let's get the current meter. And let's short circuit the battery and see what kind of current we can get. So we have about 16 milliamps. All right, so that's a baseline for one cell. So what are we trying to do here? We're trying to increase the load current that this battery is capable of doing. And so 15 milliamps, and it held up pretty steady there for a few seconds anyway. So let's see what we can do with more batteries. So now what we want to do is we're going to, we're going to put these batteries in parallel instead of series. So the goal is to have about 0.8 volts, but we want to make the current as high as we possibly can. So I'm going to use this cotton separator, bring this around like this, and then put another one. And then I'm going to repeat this process. Now that I'm going to run out of cloth. So I've got another piece of cloth over here. We'll go ahead and soak this in salt water. Okay, 
It's all nice and wet. Okay. Now, how many more we have? Two more. Okay. So we'll put one here. And another one here. And then our last one here. Now, if you'll notice that I left these long, I left them long for a reason. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a clothespin and I'm going to short these all together. Now this, we're going to collect all of the negatives together and here we're going to tie these together and collect all of the positives. So, I'm going to get a rubber band and kind of hold this all together. I'll take that off for just a second. All right. Now, make sure that's all going to be good contact. We'll tie these together. Maybe I'll grab another one. So I want good contact there. And then now, we're going to do the same thing with positive. And here we can just twist them together. Now, if I built it correctly, we should have the same or similar voltage. It's a little bit lower, 0.68. Now let's check the current. I need a better connection. Hold that. Okay, let's try that. So now it goes up to 100 amps. Let's see what it can hold. 100 milliamps, excuse me. Now check that out. About 80 milliamps shorted. And so you can see when you do it like this, you can greatly increase the current and each one adds. So in just no time at all, we've got a, a battery that produce, produces four times better than the first one. And we're doing this simply by placing the batteries in parallel and collecting the current from each battery. So I sure hope you liked this video, and if so, uh, please subscribe and uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions in the comments section.